What's up everybody? If you have yourself in a Chromebook and you're seeing this message, there are two things that come to mind. One, it is either a software problem or it's a hardware problem. Now, as regarding the software, I'm going to try to reinstall the software, the Chrome OS into this. If that fails after about three attempts, then the next level is the hardware meaning that the software is unable to be installed on the SSD card probably because the SSD is corrupt. That requires replacing the SSD. So first off, you will notice that it has a model number here. Every Chromebook, or I don't know if every single Chromebook, but Chromebooks have different codes here. And that's what you're gonna need in order to reinstall the software. So there is a link here, and we're gonna go there and see what we can find out. Now I'm using my Windows computer so that I can find out more information. And let's go to step two, where it says download a new copy of the operating system. Now there's a link here, it says uh, install the recovery app. You do need a Chrome browser, so if you're using a Windows or a Mac computer, you need to install the Chrome browser, and then you go to the recovery app. So here it is. This is the recovery app. Okay, let's create a recovery media. Let's get started here. Okay, remember I told you about that model number? Here's where it comes in handy. You need to type this in here. Okay, we see that it is the Acer C720 that's identified here. Let's continue. So I'm going to get myself my USB uh, flash drive. So it's identified it. I got the SanDisk Cruiser right here, 14 gigs. All right, let's go continue. We're gonna create this, baby. So this process takes about one minute to do. Okay, so I got this pop-up. The problem is that when you have the user account control on Windows 8 and above uh, turned on, you're gonna get this menu. So you wanna select the yes. So here we are at the secondary phase where it's going to create the recovery image. This takes about four to five minutes. All right, this is what it looks like when it is finished. I've got my flash drive ready. Let's insert it. Okay, it's a good sign because it read it. Let's cross our fingers here. Now it looks like it's going to install the update and it says that it will automatically reboot when it finishes. Here we are getting closer to the end of this installation. All right, it restarted just like it said. Chrome baby. Oh, okay. So we're in luck. Everything went well. But let's say that you weren't this lucky. For this procedure, you will need yourself a little kit like this, screwdriver kit. You will see a series of screws all over the laptop. All the screws are out <clears throat> now you can start lifting this cover I start from uh, back here you will see so okay. there you have it so on the right side you will see that this is the SSD disk this is where the OS is installed the operating system it is a Kingston SSD so here's a search that I did on eBay. Between 10 to $15, you can get yourself a replacement hard drive. The only thing holding it in place is this one screw here. So just go ahead, use your uh, screwdriver to remove the screw. You'll see it lift up a little bit and you wanna bring it out at, at, that, at that angle that it lifts up, voila, there you go. Put in your new one, put everything back together and then reinstall your OS.